Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the limited edition Bantam Bagels. We have pumpkin spice and apple pie. The pumpkin spice says it is cinnamon bagel with pumpkin spice cream cheese, New York City original. Um, these are as seen on Shark Tank. We have never watched Shark Tank, so um, I, I don't know anything about that, but that's cool. Um, the apple pie is sweet sugar bagel with apple pie cream cheese these were 4.49 each at target and we'll talk about calories um, um in a little while after they're finished right now we're just going to focus on the heating directions you want to keep them frozen until they're ready to eat you toast or heat before eating do not refreeze thawed product you unwrap bantams and place in microwave or oven safe dish before heating. So for best results, that's what we're going to do is for best results. We're going to defrost in the microwave for 10 to 15 seconds per bantam or refrigerate overnight. So we're going to defrost it in the microwave for 10 to 15 seconds. Then step two is you use your toaster oven and you toast for four to five minutes or until crispy. Uh, so you want it to get good and crispy. You uh, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. So I'll show you. We have our uh, toaster oven set up right here. There's that toaster oven. <laughs> okay, let's see what these look like. So first, I'm going to put a couple on a, oh, and you get a dollar off for your, for your next one. Had I known that, we could have opened the box, pulled that out, and used it on one of these other ones. I, I wish they put it on the outside of the box. That would have been nice. Okay, so uh, this is the pumpkin, and it is in a resellable bag, which is very nice. A lot of these do not have that. Okay, so I'm going to put, I'm going to heat two of them. So that, um, do you think that's a good amount, Kev? Yeah, that'd be good to try. Or do you think I ought to heat another no, one? Two. two? Okay, so I'm going to do two pumpkin and two apple i really do like these bags though that's nice and they're kind of stuck together so we're going to put them in the microwave then kevin and i will transfer them there is a tray in here we're going to transfer them to this tray and bake them for five minutes and then we'll be back to try them okay these plates look a little dirty i know that's because i preheated them uh sorry i defrosted them in the microwave on these plates then i transferred them to the tray for the toaster and now they just came out and i want to um actually cut these open um, i'm going to cut one open in front of you right here so you can see it up close this is the pumpkin spice they did get very crispy as you can hear I'm having to stab, stab it. And we uh, toasted it for uh, five minutes. So that is the pumpkin. And now let me wipe my knife off here. And I'll show you the inside of the um, apple. Okay, so there is the inside of the apple. Some of it oozed out the back right there, you can see. So we're gonna take these over to the table and try it. So we didn't talk about the calories or anything yet. Uh, one filled bagel is 100 calories. Same for mine. Yours is too, okay. And it says, um, they Bantam bagels are crispy and chewy. Everything you want from a great bagel with one unique twist. The cream cheese is already on the inside. We stuff our bagels with artisan cream cheeses for mobile munching, perfect for any snack, party, or get together from our home to yours. So, uh, this is the it, it, pumpkin spice. It is a cinnamon bagel with pumpkin spice cream cheese. I like the crisp bun. I've had these on my lunchtime review channel. Yes. And um, I've always done them in the microwave. Don't do them in the microwave. It just ruins them. Um, they don't get crispy in the microwave. Yeah. You need that crisp. On his lunchtime review channel, everything is either right out of the refrigerator, like a sandwich, or microwave. Or microwave. 
because he does things that you can have at lunch. Mm -hmm. So if a, if a product says that it can be microwaved, he does it. So if, if, if their product really doesn't shine in the microwave, they shouldn't even put it on there mm -hmm. that you should because you're not really tasting the, um, the way that it should. Yeah, you're not, you're not getting that good crisp outside because mm -hmm. it does have a really nice crisp bagel outside, mm -hmm. like, the, like a crisp bagel. It really does. It has a soft inside. The cream cheese is really, really good. For me though, I know you love that crisp and I do too, but it's a little too crisp for me. Mm, no. I would prefer um, to cook those uh, for even four and a half minutes rather than a five yeah. full minutes. Yeah. If you don't like the crisp, you might like them in the microwave. I, I do like the crisp, but it's a little tough for oh, me too. Yeah. That's how kind of a bagel is though. So, <laughs> and see, I don't eat bagel, so I don't know. Yeah. I, I, um, I couldn't tell you when I've had a bagel. I mean, I'm sure I have at some point, but I just don't remember because I don't eat them that often. Let's try the uh, apple. I'm gonna try the big one. Yeah. <laughs> you immediately get the cinnamon. Mm hmm. Honestly, that's pretty much all I get. That's what I'm tasting. It's cinnamon. Mm -hmm. it's, it tastes like cinnamon and sugar. I don't get apple at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, even in the slightest. But I really like the flavor of that. I think it's good. It has a very good flavor. I like the pumpkin one better. Mm -hmm. But if you like a cinnamon spice, then the other one's really good too. Did you take a picture of it? Mm -hmm. I took a picture proper. <laughs> yeah. Um, I took a picture after I showed Because I've done that before. Eating one, she's like, I was going to take a picture of that. <laughs> no, I took them after I showed them uh, on camera. Yeah. I um, think they're easier. Like, you pulled it apart with your hands. I think it's easier to do that than trying to cut it. Than too. trying to cut it. Yes. So, when you saw me before cut it and it was hard to cut, yeah, it's much easier to pull it apart with your yeah. hands. Just know that. I was trying, well, they were hot coming out of the toaster, and so that's why I used a knife. Because um, I'm sure a lot of people would be like, why did you use a knife? I used a knife because they were they were scalding hot mm -hmm. coming out of the toaster, but I wanted to show you what they look like coming out. Um, I prefer the apple. Do you? Yes. Just because you like the cinnamon? Did you say you prefer mm -hmm. the uh, I like the pumpkin. No, I, 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 I like the pumpkin. The pumpkin, it's to me, one. is decent, but I... I would much rather have that apple pie. The apple pie, I, like I said, I don't taste any apple, but I get cinnamon and sugar, and I like cinnamon and sugar. The pumpkin you know it doesn't like have, the, for me, the pumpkin doesn't have the sweetness that the apple pie mm. does. It's literally pumpkin. Yeah, it, it's just it's just not sweet, and, and if I'm gonna eat one of these bagels like this, I'm gonna want something sweet. Mm. That, it's just a preference. Especially so, since they're the same calories. Yeah, exactly. Really, I like both of them. It really just depends on what kind of mood you'd be in. If you wanted a pumpkin kind of flavor, you get that. If you want a cinnamon kind of flavor, you get the apple one. Right. But um, they're both really good. Yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you can find them in your area. I have only seen these so far at Target, but I haven't been to a lot of stores looking for them. So, just know Target does or should have them. And thanks for watching.